Hello and welcome to Messy Church. Today is the first time we're doing a hybrid Messy Church. Some families are in church today doing this in person, but I'm really glad you've joined us online as well. Today is a great day. It is the day of Pentecost, the birthday of the church and the day that God sent his Holy Spirit on the disciples. We can't see God's Holy Spirit, but there are symbols that we use for it. On the day of Pentecost, it came as a great wind. It came as a fire that burned on the heads of all the disciples. Sometimes we picture the Spirit as a dove. And the Spirit brings gifts. To the first disciples, it brought boldness and courage. To us today, it brings the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Let's get started with Messy Church Pentecost. When the Spirit came, a fire appeared over the heads of all Jesus' followers. Here you can make some flaming headgear of your own. For this activity, you'll need coloured or white paper, pens, scissors, sellotape and glue. Take your coloured paper or white paper and cut two strips about an inch wide, like this. I'm using coloured paper, but you could use white paper and colour it in with felt pens. Now put the two ends together and stick them with tape. Next, take your felt pens and write a message on the front. I'm writing, come Holy Spirit, because this is a great Pentecost prayer. When you're happy with your writing, bend round the two ends of your crown and measure it against your head. When you're happy it's the right measurement, tape it together so that you've got a crown with your prayer on the front. Now I'm taking yellow and red paper for flames, but again you could use white paper and colour them in. Now draw three flame shapes on your paper. I'm drawing a large one, a medium one, and a small one in different colours. And remember, fire is all sorts of different shapes, so don't worry if they look different from each other. When you've finished your flames, take your scissors and cut them out. They look like this. Now you can still see the lines on mine, so I'm going to turn them over so that you can't see my drawing. And I'm going to stick them with glue, one on top of the other, so that they look like a real flame. And finally, I'm going to take my crown and I'm going to stick the flame at the front with sticky tape. Now I can wear it. Come, Holy Spirit. A spirit crown to remind you that the spirit came in fire at Pentecost. And the spirit also came as Pentecost as a mighty wind. Here you can make a dancing ribbon to show the wind blowing. For this craft you'll need a stick, some sellotape, scissors and crepe paper or ribbon. Take your crepe paper out of its packet but don't unfold it, leave it folded up. Mark off a strip about an inch thick and cut it off so that it looks like this. Now take the open end of your crepe paper and you're going to stick this to the end of your stick. Use tape to roll it and tape it on so that it looks like this. Now you can unravel your crepe paper. Now you have yourself a ribbon dancing stick. Wave your stick and watch your ribbon swirl and whirl in the air, a reminder of how the spirit came as a wind at Pentecost. The Holy Spirit brought gifts. The disciples were able to speak in different languages and reach all sorts of new people. On the day of Pentecost, about 3,000 people joined the church. How they must have had to get to know each other. 
Here, you can use these questions to get to know the people in your house better. You'll know the people in your house pretty well, but how often have you asked each other some of these questions? Pause the video and have a look at some of them. My dream is to do or be. If I had all the money in the world, I would. The thing I like best about Messy Church is... The question that I would ask God is... Get to know people better with some of these introduction questions. The Holy Spirit still gives gifts to Jesus' followers. We call them the fruits of the Spirit. They are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Here you can make a cute little fruit of the Spirit to remind you of what gifts God gives you and how you can use them. For this activity you'll need a coloured balloon, scissors, a pen and some green paper. Take your balloon and blow it up just a little like this. Then take a pen and draw a lovely happy face on your balloon. I think my fruit might be a blackcurrant. Next take your piece of green paper and draw a rough leaf shape on it. This leaf is going to remind you which fruit of the spirit you have chosen. These are the fruits of the spirit. Pause the video if you want to stop and have a closer look at them so you can choose one that you would like God to give you. When you've chosen your fruit, write it down on the leaf. I'm choosing gentleness. Then turn your leaf over and on the back, think about one way in which you can show gentleness to the other people. Ask an adult to help you poke a small hole in the end of your leaf and very gently push the top of the balloon through the hole so that your leaf is attached to your fruit. There you have it, your very own fruit of the Spirit, the gift you long for God to give you, and one practical way you can develop that gift. I hope you enjoyed all those crafts and activities. Now it's time for our celebration service. Listen to the story of the day the Holy Spirit came. After he went up into heaven and back to God, Jesus told his friends to wait. He would send them a special gift, the Holy Spirit. They waited in the city for nine whole days. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house. They saw tongues of fire in the room. The tongues of fire separated and came to rest on each of them. The fire was God's Holy Spirit and the fire went inside them and filled them. They had gifts and were able to speak in other languages. Outside, people heard all the commotion and wondered what was going on. They said the disciples had had too much wine. But Peter stood up and told them all about Jesus. God promised long ago to send his Holy Spirit on people, Peter said, and because of Jesus, today, on the day of Pentecost, he has done it. 3,000 of those listening got baptised right away and decided to follow Jesus. They became the first ever church, a community of people following Jesus, loving their neighbours, doing life together. This is the church that continues today, that you and I are a part of too. Now, it's time to say our prayers. It's hard to picture the Holy Spirit because we can't see it, just like we can't see the wind. But have a watch at these kites flying. You can see the power of the wind. Imagine you can see the power of God's Holy Spirit. In our story, the Holy Spirit came like a great wind and like fire. The Holy Spirit made the disciples feel strong and not afraid. 
I wonder if you ever feel like the Holy Spirit is in you, dancing and making you strong. I wonder if you'd like to pray for the Holy Spirit. We can ask the Holy Spirit to come inside us. We can't always see the Holy Spirit, but the Spirit is like a great wind, like God's fire dancing around us and inside us. And if we learn to see with God's eyes, we might learn to see it. Holy Spirit, come. When we're feeling lost or lonely or sad, when we don't know what to say to God, we can ask the Holy Spirit to come. We can ask the Holy Spirit to dance inside us and make us strong. Come, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for joining our Messy Church online today on the day of Pentecost. I hope you've really enjoyed everything that we've done. And I'm glad that you too, like me, are praying for the coming of God's Holy Spirit. As ever, if you'd like to share anything you've made or done, do upload a photo below or email it to me at teamvicar.kwtm at gmail.com. Thanks so much for joining Messy Church today. See you soon. Bye.